It's Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. Now, what a gorgeous day it is. The bees are in full flight. Of course, there's nothing here for them, but they're frantically searching for everything they can find, or for anything they can find, which they're not finding anything, really. I've got a few sticky boxes out there left for them. Not on purpose, I just was too lazy to put them away, so I'll have to do that this evening. Uh, we've got the pails filled up a couple days ago, but I see I see some of the jars on the far side are, are getting empty again. Uh, so I need to mix more syrup. Now, I've got my syrup trailer here, and there's a little bit in it, but I don't know how much. There's not much in there, and that is why I took the big truck and the trailer to town today, and I got another skid of 60 bags of sugar. Uh, for for the uh, metrically challenge that's I don't know 2200 pounds something like that and that'll do about a tote and a half so what I need to do is I need to get the sugar from here on here I can't lift that with my tractor so I either have to hand bomb it off onto here which that would that would fill you know about six of these that the tractor could lift or use my noodle and this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get the truck on this trailer and I'm gonna go fill it with water put the water in that that I need for the syrup it won't be filled by any means and then I'm gonna bring this trailer back here and snug it up nice and close to this one hopefully I don't hit it <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna be able to just take the bags right off of this stack right into the tank so minimize handling that's the name of the game right now in Winnipeg today parked in a Costco parking lot for like half an hour and uh, the back window on my canopy ended up being smashed out I don't know why I don't know if somebody doesn't like me know if it broke on its own no idea highly disappointing it's about a thousand dollar piece of glass so I'm not sure what's gonna happen there but right now I got bees to feed okay I've got the garden hose hooked up here and my uh, patented sawmill Charlie style water meter here 24 liters I'm going for probably a little over 400 liters of water in here. I can see that we're right here. So the advantage, one big advantage to me with this water meter is the fact that my tank wasn't empty. You can actually see some sugar in here. It, it often precipitates in the tank. We can talk about that later. So if the tank is empty, I can use the gauge on the side here that says 300 liters that's 400 liters okay you can't see it but it says 300 liters there um, tank wasn't empty so now I need to calculate you know I need to guess how much is in the tank and then guess how much more I have to fill well this thing will tell me that'll tell me 400 liters of water regardless of what was in there already so we got some time to wait Got my little pail here, my Apis Biologics Biocontrol that I've just mixed up with my blender, as is the uh, recommended method. I'll just pour that right in here.
30 liters of water, so 30 kilograms of water, and I put that last 60 kilograms of sugar in there. And I let it run for a long, long time. And uh, it'll have to sit until tomorrow, at which time I'm gonna drive this whole rig out to my out yard and fill the pails. And that'll be the second round there. And that should be all the feed they need for the season. They might get a little top up. You can see some sugar bags there. I've just got to pick those up with my tractor and get them indoors. And I've got to go in for a break because my back is killing me and I'm pooped. So I hope you enjoyed the sugar mixing process. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you can see every little drop and every little leak here, uh, it just causes lots of commotion with the bees and the hornets and the wasps. It's mostly honeybees. Now, I'm working on a bit of a change up for this whole system because this is where my leaks are right here. And I hope it, I hope it works out. It's more of a glued and threaded system than a, than a barb and hose clamp system. And I was just putting that together in the shop, but I need to, I need to figure out some dimensions here before I can finish it off and install it. So I'll show you all about that when I'm all done putting that together. So that's probably going to be all for today. If I do anything else, it'll be some extracting. And otherwise, thanks for watching. Talk to you tomorrow again. Take care and have fun. It's Wednesday, September 20, 2023. Sorry, but my mic battery's dead right now. I just came to the out yard to feed the bees. I haven't checked the pails yet. I hope they're empty. Got the tank and the pump and everything strapped down to the trailer. Uh, we'll get it going and furl out the long serving hose and fill these pails. Let's go have a look at a few and see how they're taking their syrup. Oh yeah, oh, those two are empty. That's good. Okay. All right. Well, let's get the veil on and and uh, start to pump up and get her going. the second second pail of two that I should be putting on this yard that I've I've uh, used 
oh I don't know there's uh, five six hundred six hundred and twenty five liters left in that tank I have quite a bit of feeding due at the home yard still uh, some of the colonies and all of the nukes need a lot more feed so I think I better go back and fill those up right now and uh, this is this is my little tiny yard veil it's more of a toy than anything uh, so I put that back in the bin and then head home I'm back at the home yard I've stretched the the serving hose all the way from the tank through here out to there it'll come a little further but now that's close enough to what I'm doing here. We'll check out the pallet hive. We'll see how they're doing. They've they've finished this pail, which is pretty good. I don't have my hive tool or smoker or nothing. So if you recall. I had put patty on here and of course you can't see much with the wood that's on the top but they seem to be healthy and I'll just fill that pail up so that's one pail of two they should take And look at all these jars. These jars are all, well, a lot of them are empty. I gotta keep those filled. Because they've got to take probably, probably six of these jars. So I need to keep them filled. Some of them still have some, and then some you know, more than others down here. But a lot of them are empty, which is no good. And then the little pails too I need to fill. All these need to be run again. I think they need to take three of these pails. And I think this is number two. And so there's some big ones here on their first pail. These are first pails these big ones uh, these two rows are second pails so see how they're doing there's still syrup in these let's take the second pail a lot slower It's Friday, September 22nd, 2023. So like I always say, you know what it means when it's Friday, only three more days of work this week. And this is one of them. It's a rather nice day. They said it was gonna be rainy. I should be overfeeding bees, but you know, they got a little bit yet. So of course, you know, if they have a little bit, then I'll put that off. I won't do it right away. I can maybe do that tomorrow or Sunday or something like that. Today I'm gonna to do a little job here. Well, I mean, this isn't gonna take my whole day. I've been cleaning up. I've been putting things away. This morning I put a bunch of boxes away because um, in the fall I have a trouble getting into my sea can because the bees wanna get into it. So I need to come out in the morning when it's cool or do it on a cool or rainy day. Uh, so I did that this morning. I put my extracted boxes away which is nice, free up a little space in the honey house. But uh, I was cleaning up a bunch of other things and I thought, you know, I'm gonna do this little job. And I'll show you here what the little job is. However, I'm gonna show you a new toy first. And you may remember I mentioned that I broke my tripod and uh, I was on a live chat with Lee at Kodiak Farm 
he's kind of a tech guy and he said buy a, a K and F concept uh, tripod so Amazon came through I think I ordered this on Monday and it got here on Thursday which I can't complain about that at all I actually bought two of them um, a different style than this as well I'm not sure I'll keep both but I think I probably will boy these are a good value they seem like they're well made it's a nice aluminum very very nice uh, product it's not very heavy and it's it's got all the features you want um, so anyway, I'm no tripod connoisseur, that's why I asked Lee. So I just put my little uh, smartphone mount on top there, and uh, Bob's your uncle, as they say, and we'll get using this. I'm going to mount this camera right now and uh, get to working on this, this plumbing system on my tank. And this is actually what I'm doing. I've, I've just begun some of the construction of this. These are glue joints. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to eliminate leaks. And you can see even the bees are going nuts here. Um, <laughs> even the yellow jackets as well as the bees. But it, there's too many joints. There's, there's these uh, hose clamp joints. This hose is really, really rigid and it's hard to clamp. So you can see how I've got multiple clamps on some of these. So I'm going to eliminate these clamps. And I've learned that when you're plumbing things like you know designing something like this if you have an elbow and a T you can probably consolidate the two so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off of here with the T and then the T is going to go up into this circuit this is the agitation circuit and then the serving circuit is going to go out the back of the T uh, and and I'm going to convert it this is this is going to convert right away to, to one inch instead of go two inch all the way down here and then go to one inch uh, so that's kind of what I'm going to do here the only thing I couldn't do is is I wasn't certain of the the length between the T and this because I'm going to screw the uh, threaded plumbing into this part and so I need to kind of get the T on here and then measure it up and cut it off at the right length it's going to be messy. There's going to be syrup everywhere. I should have brought a pail of water with me, but I didn't. So, <laughs> you know, we'll just do it the hard way. Now, I need to remove... I need to remove the quick coupler from the elbow uh, because the new T is going to screw into that quick coupler. Yes, there's no way to do this. It's not going to be a, just a ton of syrup everywhere so the only thing I can do is take this quick coupler off and get this out of the way because there's a whole bunch of syrup here and it's going to leak syrup but and don't worry about the syrup being wasted because the bees will come and get it. That's not a problem. This whole thing is not going to be used uh, at this point for sure. So I want to have that off so the bees don't go too far up in there. I think what I need to do is undo this quick coupler and then thread this out of here. Maybe I can thread this one off first, though. It's going to turn. Go away, old jacket. I'm shooing them away like a honeybee. I should just mash them like that. Yeah. I kind of thought that was going to happen. I really need a uh, bucket of water. But I didn't bring a bucket of water. Just don't want to get my hands completely covered in syrup. I could move the pump out of the way. I'm not sure that's going to buy me much though. 
Uh, so let's see if this will thread out of there. Which something tells me I didn't tighten these in very much. Yeah, that's just turning. So the only thing I have that's big enough for those is my pipe wrench. I think I torqued that in there this spring when I put it together. This is really not very convenient. Before I go too far, I'm going to use this to get this uh, quick coupler loosened off here. Together. I didn't even put Teflon on that. Oh, I guess I did. It's just farther in. It's a long thread. Um, it, it wasn't the threaded fittings that were leaking, though. It was the, all these barb fittings. Kind of understandable. Almost a proof of concept when I put it together. freed up a lot of expensive hose clamps. All right. Now, the quick coupler I took off just threads onto this pipe. I have Teflon on there already. And this is not indexed. This can hook up any way, so I can just make sure this is really tight and it'll go right on there. doing most of this not in the shot I don't know what the torque is on this kind of stuff it's plastic but it's pretty tough plastic all right excuse me honeybee so that goes on there again okay and now this might have to reposition a little the line up here and this fitting threads in here and then goes on to that so I'm looking at I'm looking at probably right about here to cut that off We'll cut it off too short. <laughs> My little hacksaw unit is pretty handy for this. Let's see. You know, I think that's going to be just about right. If anything, it's a tiny bit short, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, so I'm going to glue... Uh, well, I have to torque this in here first. So once I glue it, it's not going to turn.
just can't grab that to pull against. And this isn't even final, um, final design on this because I want to make another change, but we'll kind of cover that when the time comes. Okay, kind of one last fit here. I think I can get that on there. Pump is gonna have to come this way. That's not gonna be easy, but I think it will go on there. You have moments of working time when you put these on. Kind of want that oriented a little bit this way. Okay, let's see what we can do. I think that's really good. Um, I, uh, I was contacted by a, a YouTube viewer, uh, Corey Van Loon. He made one of these systems, They're not just like this, but a little different. And uh, he, he came up with an idea that I think is a really great idea. And I'm glad he showed me. Um, very low tech, very uh, low technology, high effectiveness. <laughs> what he did was on, the, on his pump, he put a, a just a board or a plank across and he he had a giant hose clamp or a few of them and he he supported this with that hose clamp so i think that's a good idea because this vibrates a lot and there's quite a bit of torque here so i think that could certainly use some support and there's there's torque being applied by this system up here as well so the only uh outstanding is to get this quick connect off of here and attach the serving hose to this nut drivers are just the best and they're even better when they're hooked to a power power driver like that okay sometimes these don't come off very well i might have to cut that it's not a very warm day. Oh, there it goes. I'll put this one in there. Sometimes it's better to put two, two hose clamps on these things. I'll go with this one for now. And I did mention this isn't final iteration because I, I just need to go to the store. Ultimately, this hose will attach this way or, you know, it could kind of come down like this because when I go to the store, I'm gonna buy another T, a one inch T put in here. Uh, so then that'll end up being an elbow for the serving hose. So I've got a one inch valve, just like these nice ones here. So I'll put that valve on the T and then the quick connect um, the reason I want a T here, because then in the end, I'm going to put a pressure gauge just to see uh, what pressure I'm running there. And once I determine the pressure that I'm running, that I, that I like in the hose and whatnot, I'm going to put a pressure relief valve on that so that and that pressure relief will feed back into the 
into the tank or at least downstream of this valve here uh, so that when I go to fill my pails I can just pinch this valve off completely and uh, you can't see that what I'm touching but you can see this valve because as it is I have to pinch this valve off mostly to cause pressure in the serving hose circuit um, but I have to feather it and then have to walk over there and see if it's right and come back and change it and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to put a pressure relief valve there so that I don't have to do that I can just turn this off the pump will build pressure in the serving circuit and then uh, vent back to the tank uh, any anything that's uh, above that pressure so but I need more you know I need a T and I need the, the, the gauge and, and stuff uh, because those those uh, pressure relief valves you need to buy them for the pressure that you want to have on there I don't know the pressure so I have to buy a gauge put the gauge on check it out then I'll go and buy the appropriate relief valve for that so I need to put this quick connect on there there's bees everywhere here this is not the greatest system yet because I the yeah uh, this hose comes out kind of the wrong direction i just have to not pull on it. it has to sit there so that's the new system uh, and again there's a there's a valve just downstream here probably i don't know 20 feet of hose so i'll take that valve off and i'll, I'll move it up here once i'm once i uh, put that t and everything in there so that's my little project I can't really pressurize this up until this glue sets here. I don't want to blow out the glue joint. Uh, so that'll sit probably till tomorrow. And uh, I'll leave these fittings here for the bees to clean off. <laughs> 